Hey guys, it looks like we have a date for transplant. <sighs> it's like so much to just take in. Just, um, I spoke with my nurse just going over everything. Um, it's not 100% just yet. They're looking at January 20th. That's really when things, uh, when things start to get serious. I won't be posting this or anything, um, Prior, I'll be posting this after, um, God willing, the surgery. You guys, bloods are all done. We met with the NP. Now time for chest x-ray and EKG. And um, then we'll be heading out. On to the next place, x-ray and EKG. We are finished with um, the EKG and the chest x-ray and um, tomorrow we have some appointments left for pre-transplant. This is the superhero right here, Liz, literally saving my wife's life. I mean, that is just absolutely insane. Thank you. Thank you. Hey guys, I haven't vlogged in a few days. Things have been crazy busy, but when you guys see this, It'll be God willing after my kidney transplant. And um, I cannot be any more thankful to Liz for this gift of life. Oh, I am so thankful. And of course, so thankful for God that he has sustained me throughout this whole process, um, helping me avoid dialysis and uh, just uh, putting it in Liz's heart to go forward with this. So I'm extremely thankful. But um, tomorrow is the surgery. And um, I got eight minutes left to eat something and get my pills down. So here we go. <laughs> eight minutes. <laughs> gotta get it all down. <laughs> no water. I didn't water. Anyway, guys, just finishing eating right on time. Anytime I have a surgery, I like to eat till the last minute. And they tell you don't eat past 12. It's 11.58 and I'm finishing eating like, and 12 on the dot, I'm done. Technically, that's following the rules, so I don't see what's wrong with that. I would imagine Liz, my donor, she's probably sleeping right now for like a little while. I'm just always like on my own um, schedule, like kind of beat to my own drum. Guys, okay, my last <laughs> drink of water before transplant. Better be good. Delicious. Hey guys, good morning. Today is the big day. It's 4 a.m. We're gonna head out in a couple of minutes. Got my little bag there with my meds that I gotta hand over to them to check in at the hospital and all my stuff. This is so crazy, but we are so ready for this. And I'm um, feeling all the feels right now, all the morning uh, jitters and just everything. We have so many people praying for us and encouraging us, and I think um, we're ready. Jackson, what do you think, Mama? Are you ready? Nah, you have no idea what's gonna happen, but I love you, my baby boy. Mommy will see you, God willing, after all of this. You be a good boy, okay? Here we go, guys. Where amazing things happen. I was feeling all the feels as we were driving here, and just, yeah, so crazy. Made it. Here it is, 5.20. Yeah, we got a few minutes to spare. It's perfect timing. And this morning the car wouldn't start. And, uh, Our battery kind of died. Her mom got us the um, car jumper for Christmas. Literally perfect timing. Yeah, it really was. Life saving. He's gonna have the car looked at after. Yeah. Hopefully our brother-in-law, because he's mechanic, he can check it. I, I killed her battery. Wait, remember that day with the bus? bus? Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> he stole my juice for good, but that's okay. It's not the worst thing. Here we go, let's go in the elevators. Hello everyone, we are here waiting to do the transplant. Just wanted to tell my family 
and friends that I love you guys so much. Thank you for your support. And um, I'll see you guys soon, Jambo. Guys, we met with the surgeon. I don't know if I updated you guys. And got my IV in. And also um, got my heparin shot to avoid, God forbid, any blood clots. Got my sexy outfit on here. But um, they're running a bit behind. So uh, yeah, me and Liz are just waiting. She's down the hall and around the corner. And I'm here. And uh, they told us to just wait a bit. So nothing ever runs on time. Yeah, of course. If you guys know anything about the medical field, and it's one thing you don't want to rush. Surgery, of course, is that things come up sometimes. And I got my amazing hubby over here. Hi guys. Thank you my for all your support, here. baby. Oh, you're welcome, baby. I love you. Maybe. She's going in, guys. It's so real, so crazy. I don't want to leave her, but I, mean, I don't want to. you to leave me either. But... Hey guys, it is almost 12 a.m. still in recovery, but Liz, she is upstairs in her room, so that is good. And uh, hoping that I'll be going to her room soon. Just trying, just starting to get really tired. But we both did great and I will share um, more with you guys tomorrow. Okay guys, so about another 20 minutes and I'll be in a room. I got the arterial line out and uh, yeah, just in some pain, so take it easy. Hey guys, I didn't vlog too much. Actually, I haven't vlogged really at all, but um, sorry you guys can't see me, it's dark. This is night two in the hospital room on the transplant floor. And um, tonight is going much better than last night. Last night I was throwing up fever, um, pain and a lot of pain. Um, and so today there's still some pain, especially when they got me up and moved me to the chair to sit but um I'm also having some leg numbing where the uh on the same side as the incision and so they said that's normal and could last a while and uh so yeah that's really a quick update as to what's going on we've just been adjusting my anti-rejection medications uh I'm on very high doses of alumedrol through IV and so uh yeah, it's uh, very important that we adjust the insulin so I'm finally back on my pump and um, the diabetes team uh, is working with me along with my diabetes doctor here at the same hospital. If you guys didn't know, I get all my care here at the same hospital. I have about 10 to 11 different specialists, um, for, you know, for different things over the years and everybody kind of works together and it's uh, it's really great. Still taking her very first steps two and a half days after Should I try transplant. and like stand taller than punch? Like, no. Yeah, you're doing totally okay. fine for the, you know. You're doing a really good job. to spend a lot of time working on really the like posture super stuff. straight. You know, okay. I would say if you were all bent over, but you're doing great. Liz, I'm taking my first step. Thank you for your amazing gift. I am extremely grateful. Hopefully I'll see you soon. Love you. Okay, when you first started and you're walking now, that's huge. Yeah, it looks better.
I'm gonna put the Rocky music behind this one. <laughs> the big question is, do you like Rocky? <laughs> You know, I've never seen like the whole movie as no way. So really? Out of here. Seriously? Yeah. Well, yeah. I've never seen The Godfather, and people were like, what? Oh, God. Yeah. <laughs> so I've never seen The Godfather. Hey, guys, this is Jill's first solid meal since transplant. Three days later, well, two and a half days later. It's broccoli and mac and cheese, and guess what? It's been three days since I ate. Yeah, three days since she ate. And I had mac and cheese earlier today, too, so that's kind of funny. Mm -hmm. This is her first meal, and that's what I had today. It's not like I picked what they just sent up. Yep. Hi guys, good morning. I haven't vlogged in forever, but happy Saturday. I'm getting my first albuterol dose since Tuesday night, so it feels really good. And I'm sitting. I just got the Foley urinary catheter out, so um... That was a relief, and um, yeah, just farting some meds, 6 a.m., did blood draw, took anti-rejection pills, and uh, yeah, then I'll go back to sleep for a little bit and get up again. Guys, good morning. My first solid food breakfast. Day three post up. Look at her guys. Yesterday you saw she was going very slow. The sun she's, she's, she's happy feet over here moving very oh, quickly. See the sun for she wants to go it. see the sunlight. It's right there. There's sunlight. Nine Hudson North Comprehensive Transplant Unit. We are heading into the solarium. Trying to make it to Liz. This is the view from the hospital window. This is my favorite view when I was in these videos. <laughs> I don't know, how did you see the bridge? Hmm. I'll just stand here a little bit. I have no window in my room, so. Guys, this is the absolutely amazing Mary. Uh, she's been an absolute blessing for Jill. Um, Jill's been telling me that she's she's like a mother to, to Jill. She like really, family. she's been treating her like family, and we really appreciate you. Thank you. We Thank really, you. really do. Thank and so much, God Mr. bless you, Mary. Hi guys. So tonight is day three post-op of my living donor kidney transplant. It has been. Um, probably one of the toughest experiences of my life, but also, um, but also I seem to be recovering pretty quick. So I am so thankful for that. I'm so thankful for Liz's amazing gift of life to me. Um, I would never be feeling this well without it. And um, she's given me a life, you know, that a second chance at life and um, something I couldn't, have had without somebody else's sacrifice and that sacrifice happened to come from her so i am so beyond thankful um but i just finished taking my second dose of and my last dose of anti-rejections tonight and so far that is going well um my white blood count is pretty low which is normal because we're suppressing my immune system and my platelets have dropped you know, they're a little low, and so that's why we're running the IV immunosuppressant drug at a slower rate, and I get half a dose instead of a full dose. So I have a couple more doses, I believe, one or two, to catch up on to get a certain amount of this drug before I'm discharged. And um, I felt so nice to get that full urinary catheter out today. I feel like free now, it's easier to get up. I'm still, of course, in some pain, but that um, is expected, so I do get pain meds for when I'm going to be getting up and walking around.